We're looking forward to a nice sunrise this morning, yeah. and I think it's here. It's pretty spectacular right now. Take a look out Ooh, there. It's glowing that. yellow. Gosh, it's just gorgeous. You know, whenever you get those clouds with they're those mid and high level clouds, the ice crystals, and then they'll just break down that sunlight when it comes up, and you can get spectacular colors. And that's what we're seeing right now. Awesome. So definitely special to look at. If you have a chance, maybe take a look out there. 32 degrees. Winds are out of the north at six miles an hour. So pretty chilly out this morning. And uh, we're going to be looking at cooler than normal temperatures across the east too, as some of that cooler air from the last system that moved through yesterday. Uh, continues to move on out, but some of that colder air remains behind. So here's a look at the cloud cover. High clouds stretching from southwest to northeastern New Mexico. So again, really nice looking sunrise out there. These clouds, not the type to produce any rain or snow. So a quiet start this morning. The roads are all fine after a lot of that snow melted yesterday afternoon. So no issues for you as you head out the door this morning. But we're already tracking the next storm system, if you can believe it. This one on more of a southerly route. So the winter storm watches are going to be issued for uh, the southern half of the state. They're in effect for tonight through Friday afternoon. The Gila area, the Sacramento Mountains, and we're going to be looking at anywhere from four inches or a little more for the lower terrain out of the system, and then up in the mountains, six to 12 inches of snow for the Gila. The Sacramento Mountains could be looking at eight inches of snow out of this. So, a ski Apache could be talking about some fresh powder once we get through this work week. So, here's how it's going to shape out. The storm's going to head south, southwest. Uh, this is where we're going to start to see uh, some of the shower activity moving in starting late this afternoon and really through the overnight hours. A mix of rain and snow for the valley, and we'll continue to see that. That develop as we head through tonight, becoming more widespread. Heavy snow for the Gila. Uh, the roads could be really messy for you tonight through early tomorrow down the southwest. A mix of rain for the lowlands, and then the showers will start to move out once we get through early Friday. Now, for the metro area, there's still some uncertainty, even as of this morning, as to the exact track of the system. It looks like it's going to stay south of I-40, but there are a couple of the computer models, the forecast models, that are show some, showing some of that moisture moving to the north, which could mean a mix of rain and snow, even a few showers for us here in the metro early tomorrow. So uh, we're going to keep a close eye on that. So we will have that chance for a mix of rain and snow, and then the system will eventually track to the north and east. And so we are going to be looking at more showers across the eastern half of the state. Uh, the snow developing for the Sacramento Mountains again, they're going to be favored for it, and even down the southeast, a mix of rain and snow there towards places like Roswell. Well, in Carlsbad. Your forecast now for Albuquerque. Today, partly cloudy, highs in the low 50s. Tonight, cloud cover increases, and then again, a chance for a few showers early tomorrow, and then more unsettled weather moving in early next week. That one will have more of an impact on the northern mountains again. All right, Kristen, cover your ears because <laughs> bust out, you're going to want to bust out your skis and your snowboard. Sorry, Kristen. The storms, as, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, definitely helped out all the resorts here in New Mexico. Yeah, and specifically, one of them now has uh, its top three ranking for getting the most snow in the last 24 hours. That's right. Sipapu, the big winner out, out of this last storm system, 10 inches of snow. Overnight Tuesday, ranking it number three behind two resorts in California. They got 12 inches. Sipapu's base is pretty decent, 43 to 51 mm. inches, and it's seen nearly 20 inches of fresh powder since last Thursday. But uh, so that may be the place to head, but you can't go wrong really anywhere you go. Ski Santa no. Fe, San yeah. Diego got like 10 inches of snow, and then Taos, of course, and then this next system heading south. So we're going to get more powder across all of the ski resorts. So which resort together. are you going to? No, don't hit her <laughs> arm. It's not even okay. there. He's like, um, it's, it's, it's paper. It was a soft Someone towel. give me a pillow. Does anybody have a pillow? Yeah, we have lots of pillows, lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of pillows, lots of pillows, lots of